shoot the shoot is definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the uh, the podcast, dude. Hope you're doing good. This is episode 205, I believe. Um, I think this will be coming out. Uh, when will this come out? Hold on. Stand by. This will be coming out first week of the year. So, happy new year, everybody. Happy new year. Um, like I said in the last episode... I am recording this on December 19th, so if anything I say changes or is doesn't make sense anymore, it's because I filmed this far in advance, um, so fucking sorry, I guess, you know? Um, but yeah, happy 2023. Um, it's going to be a big year, all right? I'll say it. I think it's going to be a big year. Um, 23, I saw, I saw a TikTok, dude. I saw a video saying that, like, this year is going to be a, f- a fucking big year for tourists, dude. Like, tourist, tourist dudes, or, like, tourist people, we're going to be, like, crushing it. We're going to have, like, awesome, like, job opportunities and shit. Like, a bunch of cool shit's going to happen for tourists. Um, I only really believe in astrology and stuff like that. Um when it's like benefiting me, you know, like if it's something good for me, then I believe it. But if you're like, yeah, uh, it's the moons in, so like Gemini's are going to have like a lot of, I'm like fucking whatever, shut up, you know, I don't care. It's not about me. (laughs) You know what I mean? Um, tour us should be called, it should be called tour me, not us. Okay. Cause it's all about me, tour me. Um, but no, 2023, I think it's going to be good. All right. I got, a, uh, I got some fun, exciting stuff planned. Um, stand up wise. Um, I can't say it yet, but it should be pretty cool and exciting. Something I've been wanting to do. Two things that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time are hopefully happening. So, um, that's pretty cool. Um, what the fuck else is going on? Yo, check out the Patreon, dude. What am I doing? It's, Check it out, man. Check out the very, really good Patreon, dude. We got bonus episodes on there. I'm about to record one right after this. It's going to be crazy. Um, but yeah, man, check it out. What else, what else is... I mean, 2023, stand-up stuff is going to be fun. I just want to keep making YouTube videos, man. I want to keep having fun making silly videos. Um, I have some ideas for stuff that hopefully I'll be able to pull off. Um... But no, man, I feel like it's weird. I don't know. I'll, I I feel like I'm so, like, this is such a, like, a privileged problem to have. But it's like, not that I'm complacent, but it's like, all I want to do is what I'm doing right now because it's so fun and fulfilling. You know what I mean? And people are always like, you know, you should really, you should really fucking get out, get, get out of your comfort zone, you know? Get out of your comfort zone, you know, do something do something that scares you. And it's like, no. <laughs> okay. Don't don't listen to that shit. All right. That is population control. They want you to do something that fucking scares you. So you, you know, you try like skydiving or fucking mountain biking when you don't like without a helmet on. So you fucking crash and die. Okay. How about just hang out? That's my advice to everybody. Just fucking hang out. You know? Hang out, chill, and fucking moss. And okay, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um Dude, also speaking of hanging out, dude, I was when I was uh when I was in LA for the streamies and uh I was hanging out with all the with all the fucking homies, dude. I was talking to Eddie and yo, he we were talking about like, you know, getting older and like, you know, being like a- adults now. Like we're sort of like talking about how hashtag adulting was not a big pizza unicorn style. Um, 
but no, we were talking about how like families, you know, some kind, they sometimes like pressure people into having children and stuff when they're not ready, when they don't want them. Not like they can really force them to, that'd be weird. Like, you know, I'm just saying like some parents are like, so when you guys having the baby, we want a baby. We want the baby. We want the baby. We need to see the baby. You know? You know how they say that? So we were talking about that, and he was like, do you um, do you think you and Jenna are ever going to have kids? And I was like, fuck no, dude. No shot. No shot we're having No, fuck that. I don't want kids ever. Um, And he was like, the fucking, yo, neither do me, me and Chrissy. Like, we do not want kids. And then I was like, yeah, it's like, I just don't want to, that's like so much responsibility. Like, I don't, and the world is kind of fucked up, and it's like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to like add another person that they, you know, it's just like weird. I feel weird about it. Right. And then he was, he fucking summed it up perfectly, man. He was like, yeah, I like hanging out too much, dude, Eddie. (laughs) Summed it up, bro. Summed it up perfectly, man. I'll never forget that. He summed it up. Like he took the words that I was trying to find for years. So if someone's like, why don't you want kids? I was like, I like fucking hanging out way too much, okay? I like chilling. You can't chill with a fucking kid, you know? I'm sure you could, you know? People are like, no, like, no. But you, it's weird. I'm not going to hang out with your kid, dude. If my friends had a kid, they're like, okay, I'm not going to your house anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Great. You have a baby there now? What are we going to do? You know what I mean? And look, same shit. Okay. I always see, and I've seen some people being like, people who hate babies and kids, that's a red flag. Suck my balls, man. People are allowed to not like stuff. I'm not saying kids are stuff because they're people, but like, shut, it's fine. As long as you're not actively like seeking to hurt children, then it's fine. You know, let people hate kids, you know? I don't like them. I don't fuck with kids. Sure. Like, <laughs> they're fu- they're fine, I guess. You know? Do it. They have to, you know, people... Sure. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. All I'm saying, you know, I guess it's important to, you know, make sure humans live on. Or is it? Probably not. We fucking suck. It's bad that you're... Ha- people, if you have a child, that's selfish. Okay? <laughs> All right? You're being selfish. If you have a child, oh, I want a thing that looks like me, kind of. Shut up. Go make a sim, you know? Go play Skyrim, dude. Go play fucking Skyrim. You want to have a baby? How do you play Skyrim? Make make your make the make your guy look at what you look like. All right? And then you get to be the dragonborn, dude. You get to go fucking... Join the Thieves Guild, the fucking Dark Brotherhood? Get the fuck out of my face, dude, with your babies, dude. Go play Skyrim. Okay, how about that? (laughs) All right? Go play Elden Ring or some shit. Make a guy. Make someone that that you... That's what you want. Shit's annoying, man. (sighs) This is a comedy podcast, by the way. I'm fucking joking. Um, you can have a kid if you want. I don't care. You can literally do whatever. That's the thing. I'm just a guy in a room and a microphone. Um, but people tend to forget that sometimes that like you could just, sometimes it's okay to just fucking like joke about a thing, you know, and just say, a, and just, say, you know, I'm a dude. I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. I made a TikTok, Okay. This is like a common theme of anytime people are remotely mad at me or disagreeing with me, I rant about it on my podcast because this is an echo chamber and I'm comfortable here. I'm not getting outside of my uh, comfort zone. I hate that. So, this one, this person made a TikTok they're like petting a cat or some shit. And the caption is, uh, 
People who hate cats for being cold or mean never learned emotional intelligence and think that love is only expressed by being submissive and unconditionally obedient. I wish I had that fucking foghorn sound on my on my podcast, on my soundboard. You know, the one's like... Yo, that's how I feel. Or the fucking, uh, that cartoon one where it's like... That's literally how that makes me feel. Because I've seen this fucking... I've seen that take thrown around on the internet, and it's fucking bullshit. You know, people being like, no, you, you, you got to earn the love from cats. That's the difference between cat people and dog people. So I stitched that. No, I, I, no, what I, I do edit it. And I said, um, this is like objectively not true. And then I said, um, some cats just fucking suck. That's all I said. And then all these fucking, um, all the comments are like, L, L take, leaving Curtis down. Curtis Connor is over party. Cancel Curtis. He fucking, he sucks. He's wrong. And I know some of them, you know, it's, it's joking and whatnot. But a lot of, a lot of people are like literally like upset. And now people are always like responding like, I didn't forget about your fucking cat video. I didn't forget that you hate cats. This is why you hate cats. I never said I fucking hated cats. I love cats. I grew up with cats for the first, like, 20 years of my life. Like, I love cats. They're adorable. And cats love me, dude. Ask ask Jenna. <laughs> okay? Go ask her. I'll wait. <laughs> okay? No, they do. They all, all stray cats always come up to me, okay? And I'll, I'll pet them, dude. I don't care. I'll let them I'll lick my finger. I don't care. Because they're cute. I love cats. But some cats fucking suck. I've met some asshole cats, man. And you can't tell me I'm wrong. Some cats are fucking dickheads. Just like some dogs are fucking pricks, you know? Some animals are just not nice. And that's fine. I wasn't saying I fucking hated them. You know what I mean? So I want to I want to get ahead of this, even though this is coming isn't coming up for another two weeks, but I just want to nip this in the bud <laughs> before it gets out of control two weeks from now. Um I love cats, all right? Fuck, man. People spreading lies about me on the internet, man. Um, also, yeah, this fucking so lame, dude. People who hate cats are being called never learned emotional intelligence. But I did. I'm emotionally intelligent, so you gonna let me smash now or what? Come on! Let me hit! <laughs> I like cats! So that guy was pretty much saying. Um, all right, let's change the subject a bit before I get fucking pissed off even more. That Henry Cavill shit's pretty crazy, huh? I know it was two weeks ago, but it just happened. Now, so let me talk about it. Um... So Henry Cavill, he, um, you know, he's known for playing Superman. Kalel, no. Kalel, don't. What is that line? In Justice League? Kalel, no. He plays Superman, okay? Clark Kent. Kalel. Um, Kalel foreshadowing um he was superman okay and people were saying that like he was gonna not he was leaving he was not gonna play superman anymore in the dc universe um but then he had a fucking cameo in black adam i'm pretty sure i didn't see it but i think that's what happened spoiler alert but it's been out for a while um, and also it's Black Adam. I don't think anyone fucking cared about that movie. Um, so he had like a cameo at the end and he was like, I'm, I'm Superman. <laughs> I'm still Superman. 
So everyone was hyped. He's like, he's fucking coming back. He's coming back as Superman. Um, and I don't know if this is confirmed, if this is true, but Henry Cavill was the star of The Witcher show on Netflix, um, which is like in its like third season and shit. And he announced like right around Black Adam time, he announced that he was leaving The Witcher. He was leaving the role, and I think Liam Hemsworth or something is gonna like take his take his spot um, as as Geralt. Um, but so everyone was like, "Yo, this must be for Superman. He's got to be playing Superman, right? That's awesome! Like, it sucks that he's leaving The Witcher, but you know he's gonna be he's gonna be Superman, you know." So that was like everyone was hyped, and then out of nowhere. He posts on his Instagram, well, I think, sorry, out of nowhere, James Gunn, who is, like, the new, like, leader of the DC, like, universe, he's, like, controlling it now, Um, he, fuck, he's like, all right, no more Henry Cavill, no more Snyderverse shit, we're fucking starting over, new DC universe, we're gonna do it right this time. Um, So, Henry Cavill... Dude, goes on his Instagram and is like, all right, looks like I'm not playing Superman anymore, but thanks, everybody. Hopefully, the new guy is good. And it's like, dude, such a class act, too. Like, fucking, his caption was like, the thing he wrote was like so fucking, like, mature and, like, eloquent, you know? Um, Where's Henry Cavill? Uh, Okay. I've just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran, and it's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be returning as Superman. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October, prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest, but that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of fortunes. For those who have been by my side throughout the years, we can mourn for a bit, but then we must remember Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, and the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all, onwards and upwards. Dude, what a fucking beauty. I got Henry's Henry's a fucking beauty, I'll say it. Wow. If it was me, I would have been like, James Gunn, suck my dick. You fucking asshole. I'm going to fucking beat your ass, James. That's what I would have done in the notes, in a fucking note. So I would have put that on my Instagram. I would have a picture of me with, it would have been a picture of me with boxing gloves. And, and the caption would have been, look out, James. My fists are hungry. Hey James Gunn, don't bring, don't bring a, don't bring a knife to a gun fight. Gun, this is a gun, me, gun fight. Me and you, I'm fighting, dang, I'm fighting James Gunn. Fuck you. I mean, like caption, be the whole caption. Um, so that sucks, man. It's it's weird because like they're f- redoing the whole DC universe, and it took Marvel at least like five, ten years to like develop like a a cohesive like cinematic universe like it's going to be a long time before there's like a new superman movie you know and they want to go younger they want to do a young superman so they can like start them young and fucking uh film like a million movies with the same actor probably you know start young all right so you know what actually Start pushing out some fucking kids, okay? Forget what I said earlier about having kids, how it's selfish. It's not, okay? Have kids so one of them can be Superman. Cast him when he's like fucking three. Do a baby geniuses type Superman movie, origin story, super baby. Superman. Super baby. You do super baby, super toddler, super kid, super teen, no, super tween, And then super teen, super young adult, Superman. That's like fucking eight, that's like fucking five movies right there, dude. And then 
from the man, you can do like five more. That's ten Superman movies, dude. If that happens, I deserve a little bit of uh, kickback. Okay, that's my idea. Um, who should? I know they won't do that, but I think I should do a fan cast for the new DC universe. You know, because it's it was pretty good now, but I guess so. The Flash movie is that still happening? Holy shit! Probably not, eh? Is the Flash canceled? I don't care about the fucking show. Is the Flash movie canceled? Dude, I don't know. I think it might be. Or maybe not. I don't fucking care. Um, Okay, so, who we got? Superman. I think the new Superman, who's like a young... The new Superman should be... I don't know any fucking actors, dude. The new Superman should be... It'd be cool if they did, like, not a white guy, you know? I feel like that's that's been the case forever, you know? Hmm, new Superman should be... Dude, fucking, uh... Noah Schnapp. Let's get Noah Schnapp in fucking Superman role, you know? That'd be awesome. It's fucking bowl cut and everything. That'd be sick. Okay, Noah Schnapp is the new Superman. Green Lantern. The Green Lantern is going to be... Uh... Lena Dunham as the Green Lantern, okay? Robin... Robin is going to be Girl Robin, okay? Girl Robin, we're switching it up, okay? Robin's going to be a girl. Um, And it's going to be a de-aged Jamie Lee Curtis. So with CGI... They're going to de-age her, but it's going to be Jamie Lee Curtis as Robin. Um, Wonder Woman is going to be an aged up Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> they make, <laughs> they cast a child and they, that's, no, that's weird. Um, Wonder Woman is going to be, um, Let's do Aquafina. <laughs> Is that her name? Yeah, Aquafina is going to be the new Wonder Woman. Um, even though she should be like Aqua Woman, kind of works with the name, you know. Batman, okay, the new Batman. We already got Robert Pattinson. He's like the perfect Batman, but um, I think the new Batman in the new DC universe should be. Uh, Danny DeVito. It'll be Danny DeVito as Batman. Um, Not de-aged or anything. Current age Danny DeVito. Uh, Same build, just same voice. That is is Batman. Um, Are you fucking kidding me? The Joker? Who is that? Who the fuck is that? (laughs) He doesn't know what's going on ever. Who the fuck is that guy? Fuck you. That'd be, the, uh, that'd be awesome. Ah, oh, god damn it. Gotham sucks. <laughs> okay, the Joker. Okay, the Joker. The new Joker in this DC universe. So it's not Joaquin, I guess. Um, the Joker is going to be... Um, hmm, the Rock. The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Joker is going to be played by The Rock. Um, bring him back. Bring him back. No more Black Adam. He's born to be the Joker. Okay. The Flash. Um, 
Charlie Sheen. Let's do Charlie Sheen. We're keeping it on brand with like a celebrity who, um, you know, has done some pretty questionable stuff. Harley Quinn. We'll do the last one. Harley Quinn is going to, in the new DC universe, Harley Quinn is going to be cast. The person playing Harley Quinn is going to be, uh, it is going to be, sorry, I'm trying to look into the future right now. I wish I had my Fushigi. The person playing Harley Quinn is going to be none other than uh oh fucking uh what's her name what's her name uh Meryl Streep Meryl Streep's gonna play Harley Quinn all right that's my fan cast all right if anybody wants to make some fan art mock-ups of all those of all that casting, that'd be great. Um, but no, dude, if even one of those is right, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. There's no shot. Um, dude, let's change the subject a bit. I might have a use for this now. It's been a while since I've we played this this theme song, but we're gonna we're gonna play it. <laughs> I've got like a shitty uh shitty TikToker of the week. Um we're gonna do uh we're gonna t- we're gonna look at this fucking dude's TikToks and just absolutely roast him. Just fucking just fucking you know, just fucking fucking saute him, dude. All right. So this guy's name is Garrett Mercer. He literally looks like he's fucking 13, but um, he's like a he's like a right wing dude. He does like interviews in in Walmart. He goes up to people and he's like, so what do you think about gender? And then people are like, what? Shopping for groceries. But OK, man. But the thing about his videos is that like he always takes like the fattest L ever. Like he never wins the debate that he's in with these people because it's like high school level, like talking points that like only high school boys will understand, like will agree with. So it's like people are like, no, but he still posts them even though he like takes the L on every single fucking, uh, um, debate that he does. So let's, let's watch one. Hold on, I gotta fucking. Am I recording this? Yes, I am. <clears throat> okay. So this person's question. His question was, "Do you believe in the Second Amendment?" Like it, like it's fucking ghosts or something. Do you believe in Second Amendment? I actually saw it once. Okay. Second Amendment. Well, no, I can't remember what it is because you no, asked me. You don't know what the Second Amendment is? Well, I do, but you asked me, and now I forgot. <laughs> okay, it's it's the right to... Oh, you know what the Second Amendment is? Okay. Bear arms. Do you believe in guns? Do you think they should be outlawed? <laughs> do you believe in guns? <laughs> Come on, guns, you can do it. Do I believe in James Gunn? Yes. I think they should be limited better controlled better controlled okay so i say i think guns should be limited better controlled which is objectively true um that would uh solve a lot of problems if you know they were harder to get a hold of you know because a lot of um s- school shootings and stuff uh, guns were purchased legally and um there's like no background checks or anything in America, and it's fucking terrifying. So that is a good answer. In what way? In not having assault rifles on the street. Did you know the majority of c- crimes committed with guns are not assault rifles? They're actually handguns? Yeah. Okay, well, even if that... Okay. I think the point still stands, though. I feel like there should be more. I think the, everything needs. Yeah, to be everything needs to be limited. Did you know that the places like like Chicago, with the highest gun laws, they actually have the highest gun crime? Yeah, he's also taken in 
uh, he's not really taking other like factors, you know, into consideration there, like whatsoever. Um, sorry, one sec. You know, like places with like high uh, gun violence. I'm pretty sure it's like, um, you know, places that are like sort of like not, you know, like low income. You know, places that are like cast aside from fucking like you know where it's fucking like impossible to live a life. So people like sort of have to turn to that and stuff. You know, so it's like. There's like a lot of like nuance in these uh, in these arguments stuff that even I can't even uh, I don't fully okay and the top comment that blue hair dye should be limited and then he responds ha nice one I did not know that actually yeah I would look into it it's a proven fact because think about it if you were gonna go commit a crime with a gun would you go buy one from the store no you would it's do not it illegally really true there's people who uh, buy illegal guns all the time and then commit crazy crimes with them so yeah but then what's another one as I've been doing these interviews with people I really realized how many people truly hate America and it genuinely makes me sad seeing how many people are so ungrateful the dick riding is crazy Anyone could get pregnant not if they really have the proper reproductive No, organs. not anybody could get pregnant. If they have the proper reproductive and organs. Like women yeah, and the people that have the proper reproduction organs are biologically a female. There are men, biological men, that are born with those organs. There's people born uh, no, no, there's not. There's no such thing as a man that can get pregnant. There's Holy born shit. With you see what I mean? It's like... Any- he, it's like he'll still post it. Like, even though he's, like, objectively wrong about these things, but he'll still fucking post it. See, and then the top comment, is this a self-humiliation ritual? Bros on the argument, no, with no data or research. Right, intersex people, yeah, it's like, how do you start debates with strangers and lose every single one? Dude, it's so true. People join the military, and they're risking their lives, and they don't get paid nothing, and then they come out, and they, like, they're just basically screwed. But politicians can go in and be puppets for years and end up millionaires, multi-millionaires. Like, that, that's a problem we have. People right, like, this is sort of like a... Like, yeah, like, that's... Like that, that, that's, that's true. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> He's literally like describing capitalism and like the like a major flaw with it. He's like he's like so close, dude. He's so close to getting it. <laughs> he just doesn't. He can't put two and two together. Klaus Schwab, George Soros, all these people—they literally want to take over the world. That's literally their mission. I'll say, no- I want to find another interview. Because you're so convinced that God's not real, yet you've never given him a chance. And that's why you don't believe in him. Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. May as well give him a try. I mean, he created you. (laughs) Yeah, you don't believe in him. You got to give him a try. You might as well. He created you. It's fact. He's a fact, okay? (laughs) Dude. Do you believe that we came from monkeys? Like in evolution? Yeah. Really? That is like the worst way to interview someone in this posture like arms crossed oh really you think that okay okay man then explain to me <laughs> you don't then explain to me how there's still monkeys and there's humans where's the thing in between process of elimination survival of the fittest if you don't evolve wait what is that some like term they use nowadays in college is it a term they use nowadays in college, he says, when she said process of elimination. <laughs> Dude. Do you go to college? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. What does is, what is not going to college have anything to do with not knowing about the real shit. world? Not educated. Well, you can not go to college. Yet, that's not what I'm saying. You know what I mean? That has nothing to do with knowing anything well, you, about you the blew real me, world. You blew me off. It's, it's evolution. It's literally evolution. It's been like proven. 
it's like a proven thing that we evolved over time. Like that happens. <laughs> you know, that literally happened. Okay, well, explain monkeys. Explain to me monkeys then. Because I've been fucking losing my... I've been losing sleep over the existence of monkeys for fucking years now, dude. All right, what else we got? I want to find one with like a bunch of views. Okay, this is... Go- Two million views. He's got to get dunked on here. Do you believe in evolution? I do. You believe we came from monkeys? Come on, here mm-hmm. we go. Then how come there's still monkeys and there's humans? There's nothing in between. Because there were things in between and then they just kept evolving. They kept evolving? So what are they now? Other creatures. Yeah, yeah. Like what? Doesn't make sense. In school they teach you monkey, build up, build up, human. But there's nothing in between. There's monkeys and there's humans. We didn't come from monkeys though. Okay, so what did we come from? You just said that we did. There's a different species. I forget what it's called, but we didn't come from monkeys specifically. Well, when I first asked you, you said we did come from. I th- it's like he thinks like monkeys like just woke up one day and they were like, oh, nice. Uh, I'm a human now. <laughs> cool. Are you a human yet? No, nah, you're still a monkey? Okay, just wait. It'll happen. Just wait. Ah, can't wait till you guys. Till, can't wait till you, uh, you guys are become human like me. <laughs> getting, pretty lo- get, getting pretty lonely. Getting pretty, getting pretty lonely uh, here. Oh, you're still eating your shit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Could, uh, it couldn't be me. <laughs> I, I, I remember when I used to do that. I used to do it all the time. Stop, do, stop doing it. Can I, when I stop being a monkey. <laughs> all right, what else? All right, do you Dude, believe in socialism? Caption. Bruh! Yeah. Really, Why? Because socialism provides the basis, which allows everyone to live fairly before adding on to that. You do understand, like, the fair thing. Like, no one lives fairly. It's just everybody's equally broke. Bro. That's, like, the most... Capital, like, capitalist, like, understanding of what socialism is. That's not necessarily true. Yeah, like, think about it. The, the employees here. Imagine if the manager and the employee that just started got paid the same. <laughs> That's not socialism. That is socialism. Everybody's the socialism same. Everybody gets paid equal. Is when manager and employee have same salary. Cool. That's not true. Yeah, it is. Go to a socialist country. What's, what, how is it not true? Socialism is built on the basis... Okay, with the basis stuff, how is it not true that in socialism everybody's paid the same? Because people still get paid differently based on the different roles that they Right, it's just acquire. having basic shit so you can, like, live comfortably. Dude. I mean, you gotta have a crazy amount of confidence to fucking, uh... Why do you support BLM? Because it's just a good movement to support, you know? Black Lives Matter. But don't we all agree that all lives matter? May I That's a thinker. Yeah. It's not saying that white lives don't matter. It's saying that black lives have been undervalued thus far and need to be brought up to the same level as all other people. What does a black person not have oh, that I can have? Whoa, whoa, wow, okay. We'll end it right there. Um, all right, guys. Uh, yeah, that dude's a fucking idiot. Um. It's just so crazy to go to someone and be like, so what uh, you think is, do uh, do guys have butts? And they're like, yeah. Oh, really? You think that? Do you think guys have butts? <laughs> okay, dude. I'm a guy. Do I have a butt? It's like, yeah, you pro- I have a probably, yeah. Wrong. False. I was born without a butt. And I'm sort of doing these videos to sort of fill the void because I feel cast out from society. Every time uh, people tell me to sit down, I can't. Don't got a butt. Um. Okay, let's do uh, let's do an advice segment, shall we? Haven't done one of those in a while. Um, uh, we could do some advice.
advice. Uh-huh. Damn, I need a jingle for my advice segment. Jingle, 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 jingle for my advice segment. My advice segment. Jingle for my advice segment. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's do an advice segment. Um, hi, Curtis. So I have suffered from tr- trichotillomania. Trichotillomania. Pronunciation. How do you say that? Trichotillomania. 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 Okay, I got it. Trichotillomania. So I've suffered from trichotillomania, uh, in brackets, hair pulling disorder, for four years. This past summer, I decided to shave my head because it was so bad. I have relapsed a bit since then, but as I am writing this, I'm 10 days clean. Let's go. Um... I'm not here to ask for advice, but maybe just a silly little pep talk from a mullet motherfucker to a bald bitch. (laughs) Do you have any words of wisdom? Perhaps a good bald joke. Um, You know, I mean, you know what? I'm happy that, you know, 10 days clean, that's huge, that's a celebration. Um, But, you know, dude, some people look fucking sick as hell bald, you know? Jacob looks fucking awesome. He's got a, he's got he fucking looks sick. Um, there's some there's fucking good looking people that are bald. Okay, good looking dudes, good looking girls that are bald. You know, there's tons of them. Um, and it's always like um, you know when you see like a like um, I don't know how to describe it, but. Um, it's just like when someone is like confidently like bald, you know, it's like, oh, f- dude, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's more like, it's way cooler than seeing someone with like a fucking bunch of fucking hair. You know what I mean? Cause that's, that's all over the place. You know what I mean? Um, so good for you. I'm sure you look freaking cool as hell. Um, you know, you know, maybe you could do like a catchphrase, you know? If you're like, if something's not going your way, but you're like, you know, screw it. We're going to keep doing it or whatever, you know? Um, you know, usually some people will say like, fuck it, we ball, you know? But you can be like, fuck it, we ball, you know? That's the term, right? Fuck it, we ball. Yeah, fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we balled. You can say that. Um, so there's there's a little tip for you, but... You know, best of luck to you. Thanks for the thanks for the advice submission. Um, see what else we got. Um, hi, Curtis. I've been struggling to get my driver's license. I don't like driving at all because I suck at it. But my mom keeps on pressuring me. My mom got me enrolled in a driving school, which cost her lots of money. Uh, and I finished it months ago, yet I'm still not very good. I generally want to improve, but I don't have a dad that could teach me, and nobody in my family knows how to drive. This is probably why the pressure is on me. I failed my driving exam twice already, and now I just feel very down about this whole thing. Do you have any advice for me? What should I do? Um, yeah, I mean, I always feel for people when they say they're not, uh, you know, they're having trouble learning how to drive. Um. Once you get your license, dude, all bets are off. I am fucking screaming at you if you're not doing a good job on the road. Um, But if you're learning, you know, I failed my test a few times. I failed the written one twice. I failed the driving one once. Um, You know, it's just practice, dude. You just got to find time to practice. You, um, You know, the only really thing that I... The only tip I have for driving is just, just look, you know, just, just really pay attention to your surroundings. Um, not in like a, uh, what's going on? I'm scared way, but like, okay, there's a person behind me. That's chill. Good to know. I got a light coming up. There's a dude over here. That's fine. You know, keep up with the flow of traffic. You know, I try not to worry too much about like speed, 
I do, obviously, but like, I just try to keep up with the flow of traffic, the, the speed that everybody else is going, you know? Um, and that's pretty much it. It's honestly just practice. I'm, I was very lucky and privileged that I was able to, uh, um, you know, I was able to start driving when I was like 15. I wasn't supposed to, but my dad let me. Um, he also lived in the middle of fucking nowhere, so I could drive on like back roads and not see a car for a while. Um, so that helped out a lot. Um, but yeah, I, um, I guess it's tough for you to, well, if your mom drives, you just got to find time to drive, which is tough. Cause it's like, you know, how maybe try to go to another driving school one that's like cheaper just so you can get behind a wheel and practice you know i don't know um that's my advice maybe find another school that you can like or somewhere you can practice how to drive because you just need to practice you just need to be behind a wheel to get comfortable you know just like with anything to learn how to do it, you just have to do it right um all right what are we at right now all right about 46 okay we'll probably wrap it up there um, I got two more advice questions, but I'll do that on the bonus episode. I don't know if the bonus episode is going to come out last week or this week, but just go to patreon.com slash very, really good support the pod and you'll find out there's like 20 bonus episodes on there. Um, uh, almost 30. So go fucking check them out, dude. And, um, yeah, man, thanks for listening to the podcast. It was very, really good. Appreciate you. Happy new year. Thank you so much for the support, and I uh, will see you around. Peace out. Bye-bye. Very, very good.